What's going on guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today we are talking the brand new, newly released JT Revolution Hopper. And why? Because it's the best source of brand new, newly released JT Hoppers. <laughs> That's LomoPaintball.com, of course. Uh, so guys, if you have been living under a rock or you're new to the sport or you're still young, the JT Revolution Hopper has been around since the 90s. A lot of the guys back then were shooting them on the auto mags, the auto cockers, the old school shockers, stuff like that. Uh, and uh, I think GI Sports slash JT slash Core Outdoor thought it would be a good idea to re-release this bad boy in three colors. Uh, you've got a black, you've got a smoke, and then obviously we've got the olive here on display. I think it's uh, it's a feeling of nostalgia for me, for sure. Definitely grew up shooting one of these bad boys. Um, they are 180 round ball capacity. They do operate on two nine volt batteries that sit right here in the back of the battery door uh, tray. They can feed up to 12 balls per second. So quick plug, stay tuned for another video. We're gonna take this bad boy outside and see if it can keep up with the NXL mode. So also here, it's got the spring-loaded lid for easy uh, reloading. And uh, if you guys have a universal speed feed out there, you might be able to get it around the collar of this neck here, and you might be able to throw a speed feed on there. So uh, we're going we're gonna to test that out, and we're going to check it out for you and let you know. But once again, the battery operation, you've got two 9-volt batteries that sit here. They've got the plus and minus signs already on there for you, so you know the proper way to put the batteries in. A simple toggle switch for on and off. You've got the propeller system that sits on the inside. And of course, it's not gonna do that the entire time. As soon as it senses a ball, it stops spinning. If there's no ball in the feed neck, obviously, it's gonna spin again for you. And then two, it does have next to the toggle switch a low battery indicator. So if you guys are running out of battery, that red light's gonna come on for you. And you will know it's time to change your nine volt batteries. Mark, do you have any other questions for me? Did I go over the colors? You did. You said black, smoke, and olive. Okay. Uh, you said the price point, I believe? Yeah, they're $49.95. You said it didn't. can maybe fit a speed feed. Mm -hmm, the universal ones for sure. Maybe. Uh, and it's got a nice two shell design to it. So if you guys do want to take this thing apart, clean it, say you took a bad dive or broke some paint on the inside, uh, it's got a ton of Philip head screws all the way around the hopper. So you guys can take that apart and it's just a two shell simple design uh, for any maintenance or cleaning that you need to do. Now, I don't really have any questions, but I have two comments on why the Revolution is one of my favorite old school hoppers. Tell me. One, because it can keep up with most modern firing rates and we'll prove that in a later video. Mm -hmm. And two, look how smooth that sides are. That thing is calling for stickers. It's just begging for me to slap lone wolf stickers and swag bag stickers and, and any other cool stickers you've got. Uh, there's no weird roughness or bumps to disturb it when you're sticking it on there. That thing is a sticker hog. Oh, 100%, and all of the guys back in the day did exactly what you just said, plastered these things with stickers. And on that note, before we close it out, obviously with the resurgence of all the 10-man stuff, mechanical stuff, uh, these hoppers are absolutely perfect. We'll keep up with anything. And like I said in the beginning, I wanna see if this can keep up with the ramping NXL 10.3. So uh, watch the next video, we're gonna be doing that. But until then, if you wanna pick up your $49.95 hopper, it's the JT Revolution, and it is LomoPaintball.com. See ya.